Welcome to week number five for Jane. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is our six week course where we're trying to get our slimmers to lose a stone in six weeks. Hi Jane. Hi Jodie. How's your week been? Uh, not too bad thank you. Yeah a few ups and downs but on the whole okay. What is the news on the scales? Uh, two and a half. Yes well done that's great isn't it? Yes. So your total weight loss is nine and a half pounds, which is fantastic. Right. Yeah. What have you been doing this week differently to last week? Uh, trying to get my steps up and trying to just keep under my allotted uh, um, calories. Perfect. So I'm not using them all. So let's have a little look. If you, keep your, if you get your steps up, you end up with more calories, don't you, as well? So, yeah. Um, so trying to bank a few. <laughs> let's have a little look through your food diary then. So this morning we've had porridge. Uh, mm. For lunch, we've had a chicken salad. Whose yeah. birthday was it? Uh, well, it wasn't a birthday, but... Catherine came and the children and I'd had, I'd had three of the grandchildren overnight so I just made a cake but I couldn't find a chocolate cake on the picking list so oh so that's why it says birthday cake that one, yeah that was the nearest that I could find <laughs> did Catherine have any chocolate cake right I look forward to seeing that in her food diary as well then. okay <laughs> And a few uh, chips as well with your salad. A few of them chips. Uh, jacket potato this evening with tuna and a latte. So uh, like you said earlier, you've actually stuck to your calories and you're in the green because you've burnt some extra calories through exercise as well. Yeah, yeah. So yesterday so was... Looking after the grandchildren, that's the thing. That <laughs> <laughs> Porridge yesterday for breakfast, tuna mayo sandwich for lunch with salad. Uh, in the evening was a bacon and mushroom omelette with a sugar-free jelly and a pear. Uh, and then in the snacks was just a couple of skinny lattes. Yeah. I like my coffee, so they, they help me through the day. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Often caffeine will just give you that kick that people get from having snacks. So it's a good yeah. way to use caffeine. Yes, I, I probably should add a bit more milk on it as well. Um, I will start adding that in because I, I do have sort of, not terribly milky ones, but probably more than if you just made it, if you added just a drop of milk, I have a little bit more yeah. milk than that. But it's skimmed, I don't know. Yeah, don't worry about that, that's fine yeah <clears throat> right saturday uh porridge for breakfast for lunch was bacon and egg with a croissant did you put the bacon and the egg in the croissant or no we did them separately um that was I'm catherine again i'm just gonna say i'm sure catherine mentioned this she she blamed you for the croissants yes they all came for brunch so <laughs> Did she ask you for the questions or did you offer them her? I offered them. <laughs> <laughs> I found them in the freezer and I thought, we'll get those out, we'll have them on Saturday. <laughs> well, well done for staying at one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then in the evening, you had uh, chicken again uh, with some potato wedges, tomatoes, peppers, uh, cucumber and some salad. Uh, yeah. On Saturday, you got an extra 560 calories. Did you go a walk or what did you do? No, I had all the family here. <laughs> that was so it. You're, you're running around after them all then? Yes. <laughs> right, yes. Friday, porridge again for breakfast, check it potato with tuna, and then in the evening, some pizza, brie, uh, cheese biscuits, and Eaton mess. Oh, lovely. It sounds like gone out night. Yeah, so and it was a, a like a bring and share thing. So um okay. that was that was why. And then a couple of uh OT biscuits 
in there as well on Friday night. Uh, Thursday, porridge for breakfast, uh, toast or no, sorry, ham sandwich for lunch. And then in the evening, some chicken and vegetables, um, a little bit of red wine uh, and a jelly with some pear. Uh, in the evening, or in the snacks, also a little brownie. But again, you stayed within your calories wonderfully. And then the last day is last Wednesday, which was Weetabix for breakfast. Uh, pear in the morning, sorry, pear at lunchtime uh, with some apple and... Was that just dessert after your salad, I think? Prawn, prawn salad. Oh, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then in the evening was a, a tortellini, the spinach and ricotta. Um, and again, with a little bit of a baguette, some tomato sauce uh, and jelly and pear. And yeah. then a latte. Great. So every single day you stayed within the green, which is great news. And I have started changing to porridge from Weetabix to try yeah, was, and get off the, the wheat thing. I was going to say to that to you, how did you feel? Did you feel better on porridge? Yes. It, it, I've sort of gone off it, to be honest. I used to have it a lot and then I sort of went off it. I, I, I don't like sugary cereals, so it would only be sort of Ram flakes or Weetabix or something, but I have actually enjoyed having it again. Um, so yeah, so I don't mind. And then it does take off the wheat. And yeah. if I do have a sandwich at lunchtime, it's I'm only on the, the one, but I'm trying not to have a sandwich at lunchtime as well. So yeah, no, that's perfect. And I, to be honest, I think this is why you've got such good success this week, is because you have lowered the wheat down. And obviously you yeah. stayed within your calories. So just doing those two things has really impacted your success. <coughs> yes, because I I didn't do very well last week. So, you know, I was sort of, and I couldn't see a way around of not eating bread, you know, it's yeah. sort of a staple. You sort of go, well, what can I have? Yeah. But so I've been um, sort of chopping lots of fruit and veg up and the bulgur wheat and things like that. And you know, making little salads with them and using chicken and prawns with those and tuna. So, because uh, you can keep that over the day, you don't have to do that every day. You know, if, if I do a big bowl of it, you can probably get, can last three days, you know, so. Yeah, that's perfect. When you're, a, when you're in a hurry, it's just when you need something in a hurry, isn't it? Yeah. So before we talk about the plan for next week, what are you doing yeah. logistically for your bank holiday celebrations and this weekend? Well, at Church Broughton, we've got a picnic, a big picnic on Sunday. That's our main event. So uh, everything's working up to there. But there is something going off at Sudbury on Saturday. So I would quite like to go for that. But uh, what are they doing that, at Sudbury? Well, they're doing a craft fair and little fair in the afternoon, and then there's a ticketed thing in night, but I haven't got a ticket for that. So uh, we'll just take the children to the craft fair, to the little fair in the afternoon, and uh, then we'll go to the picnic on the Sunday. So, Have you seen the updated weather forecast for Sunday? It's raining, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the main day for the Jubilee, yeah. the big picnic, is now forecast to rain. Yeah. We're putting big marquees on the playing field. So. Oh, really? Oh, great. It'll be fine then. Just be under there, yeah. With a bottle of wine, it'll be fine. <laughs> to be honest, Jane, if we can do dance fit in the rain, we can definitely eat and drink <laughs> in the rain, can't we? <laughs> Certainly. I've never done exercises in the rain like they... that. You'll cancel, you'll cancel. I was waiting for your text to come. Well, it... <laughs> and for anybody who doesn't know what happened uh, in church brought in last Thursday evening, uh, about five minutes to six, it completely went really windy and really rainy. Uh, and we kind of sheltered under a tree and did the first bit under the tree, didn't we? Yeah. But, oh. but then the sun came out and it was fine and we did the rest of the 45 minutes in a normal position so it was all good 
So you haven't got dunce fit because it's bank holiday this week. What are we going to do exercise this week to make sure we get those steps in? Well, if I just keep the trying to hit the 10,000, is that OK or should I do something more? No, that's fine. Just keep heading towards that 10,000 every day. That will be great. Right, right. And now, I presume that that sort of you will. That is a trigger for sort of losing weight, is it? If you can sort of get up to your 10,000 steps, because obviously. But then you need to do it where your heart's beating and you're sort of. Would that not burn uh, the, the, the calories quicker or? Absolutely. We, we call it organic steps. So, for instance, a lot of people who do 10,000 steps within their job, it's not really a workout, like you said, because you're no. not getting your yeah. uh, heart rate up. So it's really good to try and do your 10,000 steps continuously, as in go for a one hour walk somewhere. And that is a workout right. for your heart, as well as getting your 10,000 steps. Right, right. So, Trying to do real exercise sessions, continual steps would be better. Um, right. But you may not be able to do that if you've got the grandkids all day during half term. That's the issue. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's, yeah, it's, it's more walking around here, there and everywhere rather than. But I will try and do. I'll go on one of your Zooms and uh, one of your ones on youtube and try and yes do, do the ten thousand steps that way and then again that's a good continual workout yeah okay yeah yeah we will do that fabulous right um so this is the last week of the course so we've got seven days left to go your final weigh-in will be next tuesday um some of the other slimmers they are doing like a low carb they're getting rid of all the bread rice pasta uh, for a week some of the others are going down to 800 calories are you happy to keep on doing what you're doing or would you like a little challenge what are you thinking for the last week uh i think i'll carry on doing what i'm doing purely because of the jubilee on the sunday um but I will try and keep well within my limits on the other days. Yes. I think I'll probably do that. Because the good news for you is that the last couple of weeks, we've really tried to limit your wheat intake. And that's yeah. really giving your weight loss a boost as well. So to be honest, you've kind yeah. of done the hard work. Um, and I know for a lot of people, especially when we've got the Jubilee and double bank holiday week, it's kind of a hard week, really, for slimmers this week. So <laughs> how many pounds would you like to lose for next week? Well, if I could lose another two, I'd be very happy. Yeah, that would be perfect. And then we're into double figures then as well for your weight, yeah. loss, which will be fabulous. I mean, but if I can do more, but I, as I think I've said to you before, the old, you know, and as you know, the older you get, the harder it just gets to Absolutely. come on. Absolutely. Um, it's sort of a I'd rather just chip away and then you're not it keeps if, if you start to get a bit fed up with it then I'll you know you go off on a tangent don't you and go that's it I've ruined yeah. today anyway I'll just eat everything so yeah making it sustainable of, is the key yeah 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 so I thought because as well I'm not we're not having as much to lose it, it's sort of as you get closer to where you want to be it seems to get harder as well so absolutely very true so we'll we'll keep i'll keep doing that i'm blaming my age <laughs> <laughs> no problem right well have a lovely celebration uh enjoy you. your picnic in the rain on sunday <laughs> and i will speak to you next tuesday jane okay okay and too. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye for Bye. now. Bye. Bye.